but we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order uh, at 11.08 a.m. Uh, Paul Kears uh, present. Wayne Saw Chuck is present. Uh, Dan Coughlin is our subject matter expert is present. Uh, Sharon Everett um, is our counsel is present. Tracy Connor filling in for Lisa McGonigal is present and Ted, um, the applicant is present. So um, I guess what we have before us is to approve the, um, the recent um, sewer relocation plan and also the, um, the agreement that uh, Sharin had, had sent out. Um, is that just for 87 Elm, Sharin? The easement? Easement's just for 87 Elm. Okay. So I'd like to start with the uh, the easement, if we could. Um, has that been accepted um, by the applicant, Sharin? To my knowledge, yes. No. Yes. So I, I just the um, you accepted our final revision as of yesterday. So from our perspective, it's in final form. Assuming you're okay with that change, which Sherry Mel indicated you were. Yes. Okay. So. Um, if you're um, comfortable with the language, um, Sharin, it's just a matter of execution of, for the signatures, correct? Correct. Okay. So I'd like to make a motion to accept the easement uh, based on final signatures uh, through Sharin Everett's office. Is there any additional comments? Can we just... Can we just go to the um, to our office in the town hall and and uh, sign them there and then? I believe that, it, it, you, it requires Bill McGowan's signature, so it would be right. It, yeah, but I think if we normally we do at least two signatures, if not three. Okay, unless we, I guess, publicly say that he'll sign on our on behalf of the board. Yeah, sure. And I thought I just saw Bill McGowan's name on the bottom of that. It, 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 that's what it does, but I can add more signature lines. If you okay. So then we can execute that, um, all three signatures of the board. Okay. Absolutely. I'll so just on. let us know when, that, when that's ready to do. So is there a second? Second. Roll call vote. Uh, Paul Kiris, aye. Wayne Sachuk, aye. So the easement has been approved based on uh, final signatures. Um, the second thing on the agenda is to approve the uh, sewer relocation plans that were submitted for 87 Elm Street. Um, I know that uh, uh, the plans were submitted. Um, I know I had read them and, and I assume uh, Wayne and Bill had read them as well. Uh, Dan had sent um, an email on August 4th at 3.32 PM um stating that he has um read the plans and he recommends approval of the plans uh, based on their conformance to whatever our standards are for um that property um he had a couple of other conditions but i don't know that um we need to apply those conditions uh, they all fall within the um, purview of the um, uh, rules and regulations of the commission. Dan, I didn't see anything that was outside of those that would be in here, right? Yeah, just more specifics regarding the site and the location. Okay. So um, what we can do is um, we have published our rules and regulations, which which are kind of general, but um, there's things that we kind of drilled down on a little bit more, Ted, which would be, you know, things similar to water tightness on and manholes to be vacuum tested, you know, that, that type of stuff. Um, those um, are usually details that uh, come out as we uh, begin the process. Um, so these are things that Dan could submit to your engineer um, because he's gonna have to come out and start inspecting um, each step along the way. And usually when um, you start with your construction plans, uh, Dan will make sure that, you know, there's these additional areas are, are tied in. Is that correct, Dan? 
Uh, yeah, for the most part, it's just to uh, supervise to make sure everything goes in correctly. It's not resident inspection, as I understand. Uh, Deborah Keller or someone from her office will be out there to evaluate the soils and make some modifications if needed. Uh, it's just some periodic inspections, or if there's an issue encountered during the excavation, uh, we'll come out and take a look at it. If there's something below surface that you know was not anticipated, uh, we'll have to take a look at that. Um, were you able to see the comments I sent back to Deborah, Ted? Yes, I was. Was yep. there anything in there that was um, an issue for you? No. Okay. Um, yeah. So this, um, yeah, this was copied to uh, uh, Deborah Keller, Brian Joyce, um, Ted Lubitz, and um, uh, Sharin, uh, as well as to Lisa McGonigal, Wayne Sawchuck, Paul Kears, and Bill McGowan. Uh, so the full board and staff here as well as your team. Yes, yeah, so, 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 so th this is what um, we would expect to uh, start to review as you start to do the construction on 87 Elm. Is that correct, Dan? Correct. Uh, the only thing that was still pending was obviously the uh, the easement, which Sharin has finalized at this point. Uh, I didn't know if, uh, if uh, Brian Joyce had any additional comments. I don't know if Brian's on the phone. Yeah, we tried to get him in. I don't know if he's on the phone or not. Tracy, is Brian on? Brian, he, yeah, yes, I'm, he's I'm, on. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. No, I had. Uh, I have no additional comments. Thank you. Okay. okay. So the only other thing was, did you already file with Conservation Commission? Do you know? So all of the work has been filed with Conservation Commission. Okay. Uh, and this is included on our conditions. And the only other thing to resolve was to do watering method. Um, yep. We're going to work that out with the contractor. And uh, I'm only asking basically so that we know we're notified on what method is being utilized. And we will do that. Um, there, so we actually did a site site contractor selection this week. So um, they will be working through that. And, you know, we've been in touch with Brian on a lot of these issues and we'll continue to work with him in your office as we move through this process. Okay. Who was the contractor you ended up with or? SLT. SLT. Yeah. I don't know if, I don't know if we formally awarded them, so they might not know. So if you. Okay. I'm not uh, sure. If, I'm not sure if they are a drain layer in town, they will have to become a drain layer. Understood. Okay. So did you receive a um, foundation permit already? We did. For 87 Elm? Uh, one of, that might still be pending. 87 now might be pending. We received them for the north and south buildings. Okay. So generally, I would recommend that the plan entitled um, Sewer Plan 87 Elm, Cohasset Mass, dated revision date 8422, be accepted and approved, subject to the conditions in my um, 8422 email. Yeah, I would um, I would say less uh, um, paragraph A. Um, the board has to determine what that what that amount is going to be. Sure. So um, there is a um, application for, I believe it's called uh, repurpose or reuse of property that um, I think we need to fill out. So we'll just check that out. So we'll um, Wayne any. Comments? No, I think I would uh, accept a um, an approval as Dan has just mentioned. Um, okay. So I'll make a motion to accept the uh, sewer relocation plans uh, for 87 Elm Street um, with the acceptance of the email uh, dated 8 4 2022 from Dan Coughlin, our subject matter expert, less uh, paragraph A. Is there a second? Second. All in favor, Paul Kears, aye. Wayne Sawchuck, aye. So we uh, have approved the Elm Street, 87 Elm Street uh, plans. Great, and again, thank you uh, for the accommodation for the special meeting. I know it's tough at scheduling, but really appreciate it. And for Dan and Sharon turning around those documents so quickly, we really appreciate it. Sure. Okay, I um, 
uh, on a separate subject matter altogether. Um, I understand that when you guys start construction that uh, the Legion post is going to try and open for lunch over there for the construction workers. So God, that would be great. Maybe you could, maybe you can help push them along. They may do, it. <laughs> you know, right, right now I think they can only boil hot dogs, but I'm not sure. All right. Well, there, there's no drinking on the job. So that's uh, hopefully that's not a problem. Yeah. So, you know, just please keep that in mind, you know, when they're over there, I mean, the Legion would be a great spot for uh, cooling anyway, if, uh, <laughs> yeah. if they bring their own lunch, but yeah. So uh, please keep that in mind. Definitely will do. Do you know when that's going to start? Uh, you know, when I was there Memorial Day weekend, that's what they were plan was. So I'm hoping they've uh, uh, kind of, I, I, they're probably waiting to hear from you guys to see when you're going to start. So okay. uh, yeah, be nice, uh, for them to open for lunch and then uh, uh, let them know what your hours are and they can probably accommodate uh, folks over there. Perfect. I will definitely pass that along. It's great. Great. Thank you. Uh, Sharin, anything else for us? That's it. I just sent you the revised signature page with all the signature lines. Um, okay. We had something on another topic, if you want. Um, but this one was just strictly for 87 Elm, this meeting. Just information purposes for you. And okay. All right, so you don't need me anymore? Yep, we're all set, Ted. All thank right, you. thank you all. Enjoy this week. Bye. Great, thank you, Alec. Good luck. Thank you. It just, just to update you, I've, I recontacted DNC Construction, who has, has been a, a, a kind of go-to contractor at the plant for a while, and um, basically got them re-involved relative to trying to replace that grit screw. So they have been in touch with Scott at this point in time, and uh, they're getting updated pricing to have that grit screw replaced. And I also had another contractor. He's a, he's a uh, very experienced welder. Uh, I've used him at other projects, and uh, he's working with a repair shop, and he went down today to um, take a look at the doors. And uh, he'll have a quote within a day or two, he tells me. Yeah, the famous doors. Yeah, and... Um, I, I think uh, I think DNC was also going to try quoting that as well, but I think this guy might be a little bit cheaper and more affordable. affordable and uh, okay. can I put you on hold just for a second, Dan? Sure, uh, Sharin. Um, I just wanted to ask if we are going to have a separate meeting on the extension agreement um, for Cook Estates. Um, yes. Yeah, so I have read through that. Um, I should be able to get back to you by uh, Thursday. Okay. Great. I'll get back there. Great. Thank you. Before we uh, finish the meeting, uh, Paul, I wanted to see if we can get an update on whether or not they started the construction uh, starting yesterday, because uh, I hadn't had a chance to drive by. I don't know if anybody knows anything. On what property? This is for the Cook Estate. Cook Estate? Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, uh... This is, uh, so they, they have started out there right now. They're, they're marking uh, utilities and, and doing uh, GPR. Um, to find the subsurface utilities, they are going forward with that uh, directional drilling and uh, vacuum excavation to locate, you know, any utilities. Uh, the plan is to start on Thursday in the uh, crossing the parking lot area in front of the school. So they'll have a receiving pit. They're going to go from Grass Island to Grass Island is the idea. Um, and just on, on the note on the easement, we, we need to uh, kind of finalize that and button it up before they get off school property going up the hill, um, just so that, you know, that there's, a, there's an easement in place, uh, I guess, for the contractor to do the work. Okay. Okay. Um, Brian, is, is there, um, I've seen some of the, you know, that boring underneath that we've done for, for conduits that we were in the in the uh, computer business and it was seemed very difficult for it to maintain a particular height going through when they hit an obstruction like a round boulder or something like that it would tend to to sort of move um do you do you expect that they'll have a problem with the, with the clay and and rock that's in the surf on the subsurface so the uh, the parking lot area appears to be Bill, when they get in, in front of the school, that grass area, you can see there's a there is a ledge outcropping, and and if they if they do hit an obstruction, they'll they'll excavate that spot, and, and they may need to do some chipping or you know rerouting, you know, or when that happens. But the utilities, uh, they're pretty confident with the vacuum excavation, uh, locating it and and 
going forward underneath it or, or above it, however it might be. Okay. Because it should be four feet down, right? Yeah, but they'll uh, in some spots they'll be they'll be deeper than that. Um, you know, when they get close to the and it's that, that sewer line, I think, is about seven feet below grade. So they'll, they'll be spots where they're they're un, you know below four feet, and they'll they're going to uh, obviously be be no higher than that. Dan, do, get that. Dan, do you have anything else? No, um, you know, it's going to be hit or miss. They, they do the directional drills. I'm monitoring it from the surface continuously during the operation. So it helps to maintain location and depth um, in terms of uh, what Wayne was referencing. So hopefully it will go good for them. But. Okay. So in our next meeting, I think one thing that we need to take a look at is following up with uh, Woodard and Curran. Uh, we, at town meeting, approved $80,000, uh, 40000 for a pump for Deer Hill and 40000 for Tupelo. I remember them telling us that I believe the Deer Hill would be ready um, and installed in July, and then September would come the pump for Tupelo because it was on back order. So... Is that something, Brian, you would follow up with, or should we have Dan do that? Sorry, I was having a side conversation. What, what was the question, Paul? Uh, at town meeting, we approved $80,000, $40,000 for uh, new pumps for Dare Hill and $40,000 for new pumps for Tupelo. They told us Tupelo yeah. pumps wouldn't come in until September, but they thought that Deer Hill would be done in July. So is that something you could follow up on, or should we have Dan do that? Yeah, I can ask. Uh, so that's on Woodard and Curran's plate right now, right? That's correct. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can. I'll send an email to uh, the group and, and okay. uh, to Rob Scott and, and Scott Pepper. Okay. Yeah, because these CJC and Cook are moving at, at as as quick as they can, um, and it may come before us. Uh, obviously, getting the new pumps in, but not not the end of the world, I believe. Both pumps can handle the flow. It's just that uh, two below is my concern, where it would have more continuous operation than it normally does. Yeah, I, th I think that's accurate. Okay. It was uh, one other thing too. The new permit that we have uh, talks about two different things. One was the uh, sewer map, existing conditions map. Um, while while Brian's on here, Brian, are we you know if anything's being moved on that as far as development of that map. Uh, was that GIS sewer? Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So we have um, we have engineering interns um, building out our our uh, GIS. You know, they're basically tracing that the the sewer existing sewers from they've got North Cohasset complete, um, Central District complete, and it's really connecting the dots around Little Harbor and. Uh, We'll see where we're at in a couple of weeks when they go back to school, but a, a great majority of it's done. Good. And the other, only other thing was the uh, the dive or the inspection of the elk fall. That was also a requirement in the permit. Um, we had bid that a couple of years back and had it done, um, but they the new permit requires it to be done the first year. Should, uh, should we work to try to put that back out to bid? Um, is that something... Brian would do something. Would and Curran would do? I would think uh, so. The operator, I believe, did it uh, handle that in the past. Um, I think I'm better off keeping that with the operator. No, actually, we did that. Sure. We bid that out. Okay. Inter Intertech was the contractor last who, time. Who, who was the diving outfit? I think it was Intertech out of uh, Rhode Island. And was it just a, uh, a video survey of the outfall? It was. It was. A little bit more. Is there uh, any? A little bit more detailed this time around, I think, um, relative to what the permit requires. But yeah, I think if you have, if you already have the, the bid, uh, you know, the, the previous bid documents, I, I'd say it makes sense to, for you to put that out. Um, 
I did use a diver recently in the harbor. Um, they're pretty good outfits set for diving, but if, so if it's just video and, and kind of monitoring and nothing, uh, you know, technical in nature as far as like low measurements or anything, uh, they're they're a pretty good outfit. Okay. I thought very a diver the last time we did it uh, for do, for doing something down there. We and, had a diver well, that... video tape last time. Okay, so um, are we set? with other topic matters. Yeah, Brian, if you can just send me the name of your diver too, we'll certainly send it to him too. You want me to coordinate that with, with Lisa or? or... Okay. Uh, Paul, something came up just, uh, uh, I think it was last Friday, uh, neighbors there uh, complaining about the noise from the ventilation, um, you know, from the exhaust system. Um, and I wanted to know if, if um, you know, Apparently, it's running 24 hours a day, so I don't know what the status is. So maybe Woodward and Karen or something could uh, explain what's happening. Uh, Don, Don on Elm? Yes. Yeah. So, Brian, is that when you send that email about the pumps, can you ask him about the, the noise issue? From Joe Coggin, you know. Yeah, my guess is the high yep. humidity is making it rain inside, so they're trying to reduce that. Yeah. yeah, I would think summertime is just to, you know, the humidity set on that probably just has it going 24 seven, especially with the hot, with the heat right now. Okay. Well, it, we're supposed to get rain tomorrow and cool down to 77 if that's any that should help. consolation to anyone. So <laughs> with any luck, it does. Okay. You did it. So um, I see. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll move. Uh, the Paul Kears aye. Wait, so I check aye. Okay, meeting adjourned. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending. Okay. Take care.